Hey guys, it's Sylvia, Beauty Junkie 824. Um, I'm coming at you today. I know it's Friday. I'm totally late making my video, but I have all my stats from Wednesday. I just didn't have time to make a video until today. Actually, I barely have time to make one right now, but I figured I would go ahead and squeeze it in. So I'll start with numbers. Um, at the beginning of everything, I started at 243.8. Last week, I weighed in at 214. And this week, I weighed in at 211.5. So that gives me a loss of 2.5 pounds. And my total loss is back up. And it's 32.3 uh, now. So um, I have 18 more days till surgery. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm counting down, I'm seriously. Like day by day by day, I feel like a little kid and I feel so impatient and I know it's gonna get here fast but I don't know I, I just feel like I don't know the time is ticking so slowly or the days are going so slow I feel like a little kid it's you know usually time flies for me you know um, and now it's not happening um, so my appointment for the surgeon to um, where they would give me the EKG and uh, what else? Oh, they give me the time that I'll come in for my surgery and everything. That appointment was on August 18th and they called me the other day to tell me that that has been rescheduled and now I get to spend my birthday, August 24th, going and doing all of that stuff, which, hey, I'll take it. That's a birthday present, right? My surgery is my birthday present, I guess, really. Um, so, you know, I'm not too mad about that. Um, I am continuing with my couch to 5k. I did I did week four. I started yesterday, um, which was a little bit late because, you know, I was having cramps and everything. I was supposed to start on Wednesday and I just, I couldn't do it. So I postponed it by day. Um, and it's week four is run for three minutes, walk for a minute 30, run for five minutes, walk for a minute 30. And it was hard. This is the first week in the second time around doing the Couch 5K that I did struggle. It was not easy for me um, at all to get through it. I got through it, you know, but when I was done, my face was red and at the end of those five minutes, both runs, I was oh, going, okay, you know, how many more seconds of this is left? So, um, you know, I was happy. I was able to make it through it and everything like that, but it was um, not as easy as the previous weeks, um, which says something for my fitness level because the, that the first three weeks were not hard for me. Um, but this one, you know, it was like right on point. So I feel like I'm in a good place right now to keep challenging myself. The next couple weeks will really be a challenge, I'm sure. So, um, Let's see here. Oh, okay. So I upped my calorie intake a little bit because I talked last week about the nutritionist and the nurse telling me that I should just go ahead and maintain. Well, I don't really, sorry. Um, I didn't really care for maintaining because I'm on a roll and it's uh, like, I don't know. How, I, I know how to eat that much, but I know how to eat that much junk you know yeah I can eat 2,000 calories if I'm having fast food and everything like that but for me to eat 2,000 calories in this healthy way is um, it's a lot more food and I you know I wasn't really able to do that and so I called because I wanted to get a second opinion so I called and I talked to another nutritionist and she basically said keep losing it's fine she's like nothing at this point now nothing is gonna stop you from getting your surgery go ahead keep keep losing it's it's totally fine you know um 220 was my goal weight and now I'm at 211 so she's like the only thing that's gonna do is make your recovery easier and make everything you know the doctor make it easier for the doctor to get through and do what he needs to do so um, 
I did end up upping my calorie intake a little bit, not to 2,000, but on my fitness pal, you can say, you know, I want to lose two pounds a week, and then they'll put you on the 1,200 calorie diet. If you say you want to lose a pound and a half, I think it's somewhere around 15, and if you say you want to lose one pound a week, it was somewhere around 17 for me. So I have myself on the one pound, so it's 1,700 calories. I don't eat 1,700 calories. But I figure I have the room if, you know, if I have a day, I only have a couple of weeks left. So, you know, if I have a day that I want to have some, you know, comfort food or whatever, I have enough, enough calories to eat that. But I would say that majority of the time I probably eat between three to 13 to 1400 calories lately. Um, and I still lost the two and a half pounds. So I guess I've revved up my metabolism a lot with all of the exercising I've been doing. Um... And this was kind of interesting to me. Kaiser does not have you do a liquid diet. I thought that was a little bit like, I, I took me by surprise, that's for sure. I think maybe I mentioned that in my last video. I'm not, I don't know. But is, does anybody else um, have a surgeon where they didn't have you do a, any kind of a liquid diet? Um, I'm just wondering, just so you know, I can kind of get an idea. Um, yeah, I think that is actually it. I know there was something else that I wanted to talk about, but, you know, I didn't write that down. So, of course, that was right out the way, right out the other ear or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, I guess that is it. Um, sorry it took me so long to make this. And um, I will talk to you guys all soon. Okay, bye.